This is a demonstration on how to download the conference recommended application for scanning badges and how to use the application to scan badges and export the information. You can just sit back and view this demonstration. After you click on the forward button, the demonstration will begin to play on its own. You can pause or rewind the demonstration at any time using the navigation buttons at the bottom of the screen. Go ahead and click the forward button to get started now. Welcome to the tutorial on how to scan conference badges. Keep in mind that you should always ask permission before scanning a person's badge, as this is giving you their contact information. First we'll show you how to download the free app to scan the badges. Select the App Store for iPhones or Google Play if you have an Android device. Mine is inside a folder, so I'll just open that up now. Tap on the App Store or Google Play icon. If you're not already at the search area, go there and start typing in Badge Scan. Let's type that in now. Notice our results. Select the one that says Trade Show Badge Scanner. And this one that says Badge Scan Scan Attendee Badges is the correct one to choose. Click the Get Link to download the app to your phone. It's free. Of course, you're free to use any other app that you find that works, but this is the one we're recommending and we'll show you how to use. And the application is downloaded to our phone. Let's open it up. Select Scan first. You can also go to the settings. In the settings, you may want to set a delimiter value for the data. We use the dollar sign. But in either case, you need to give permission for the app to use your camera. I've already set up mine, so it won't ask me, but you'll see a pop-up asking you if it's okay to use your camera. Tap on Yes to give permission. Now let's go to the settings. You need to add a field delimiter next. Click this field to open the Add Delimiter window. The delimiter window displays. Type in a dollar sign, then click the Save button. Now you're returned to the main settings page. You can also optionally add some custom group names to allow you to quickly label your scans. Let's take a look. Click Edit and then the plus sign to add custom group names to label your scans. When you're finished, click the Done button. Then use the Settings button to return to the main settings page. Now you're ready to scan a badge. Just click the big Scan Badge button in the center to start. This is actually much slower than it usually takes. You just point at the badge and boom, it scans it. And the person is now scanned into your phone. You can tap on the Add Comments to add some notes about this person that you just met at the conference. You already have their phone number and email address, so there's no need to add that. But you may want to add a few notes about what you discussed with this person at the conference to jog your memory later. When you're done, just click the Save button. And your comment has been added to this record. When you scan someone's badge, You'll get their name, title, company, email address, and phone number that was provided on their registration form. Don't forget that you should always ask permission before scanning a person's badge. Now you can continue to scan other people's badges to add to your application. Once you're done, you can export the data. You may want to do this at the end of each day, just to be safe. Click on the History button. You'll see the list of all the people you scanned. You can make adjustments to them here if desired. You can see that I scanned Victoria's badge twice. I could fix that from here, but I'll just export this for the purpose of this demonstration. To export the data, tap on the Manage Log button. Then select the Export History Log. You can choose to send this to various locations depending on apps you have available but I'm just going to send it to myself in an email. The email message will display. Just add in the email address to send this. The subject line defaults to history log, but you can change that if desired before sending. Notice that this is sending the log in a CSV file. Type in your email address in the To field. 
the email address is added. You could continue with adjusting the subject or body of the email. When you're done, just click the Send button. You'll receive a confirmation that the email was sent. And that's it for how to scan badges at the conference and then export them. Thanks for watching this demonstration and enjoy the conference.